Hello and uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. I hope you are coming back. Otherwise, go and watch the other videos. No joke. Okay, this time, second video of the 3D scanning series. Last time we spoke, ab spoke about the hardware. I presented you my little turntable and this time you asked for it. We are speaking about the software. As I said, I'm using Metashape from Etchisoft. It's a commercial product, but I'm sure there are a lot of freeware softwares out there working exactly the same. I have to say thanks uh, to Henker, a German company. They gave me, especially for this video, so we could call it a sponsor, so thanks for that. They gave me a license for the new V2. I was working with 1.7 or 1.8, but it is the same. So if you have the older version, don't worry. It is exactly the same. And this time I also tried combining two PCs for network processing to sped up the whole process. We will look a quick look into that also later. The next thing you asked was you wanted to see the holder. I did the microphone scan and the holder is done. It is much smaller than I thought. I will show it to you later. Also the little time lapse of the printing in the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo. So. Now, jumping right into the software. The first we have to do, of course, is adding photos. After the photos are loaded, we are detecting the markers. That was that white paper we have put on the turntable. Then we are adding another chunk and adding the second set of photos with the second paper markers and detecting them also. After both picture sets are imported, we are aligning photos. Here you see the awesome feature of Metashape to combine multiple PCs in your network in my case, it's an i5 13600K and a Ryzen 9 5900X, both with an RTX 1660, one and TI, one a normal 1660. Uh, that is a blurry mess, so I added this screenshot. The depth of filtering, please set to aggressive. The rest is absolute standard and hit the OK button. Again, network processing. Yes, this takes a while. Here in details, the PC1 and PC2. And you see the graphics card with the CUDA cores are working. So after around five minutes with both PCs, we see our aligned photos. Isn't that nice? Yeah, and there we have a little bit of chunk. Select the free form, hit delete, and it is gone. So now we cut also the other chunk, plus the neat putty part, and while we have these fantastic markers we can use them to scale our scan so mark two markers right click set scale and set the distance and accuracy don't forget to hit the update circle and the same at the second chunk And again, don't forget 
to update. That's really important. So now we have to align the chunks. After pressing show aligned chunks, we see our aligned chunks and inspecting them. Yeah, that looks great to me. The red areas are not perfectly covered, but for me it's absolutely fine. So we merge the chunks and after we merged the chunks, we can save them and in my case I opened them in Mesh Mixer, beautiful software, and smoothed the surface and then I removed these screw holes. I don't want to have them in my holder later. The first hole is almost gone. And the same with the second one. And later also with the part where this little switch is. You can't see it now. It is right there at the top edge. There is a little switch at the microphone. We also flatten this later in the video. And then again smoothing the surface itself without modifying it too heavily because we want to have a perfect negative fit in our holder. This is not sped up, this is, yeah this is sped up now. So exporting the STL, we are done, open your slicer, in my case it's the Bamboo Studio. First load the holder, yes it's a blobby one, and then load at negative part. Here's our microphone from the mesh mixer. Place it, change the angle and slice it. Here we are. Perfectly negative. A perfect negative shaped holder. Happy printing! Hope you enjoyed the software part of the little 3D scanning series and you asked for it and here it is. The little holder, you have seen the time lapse, it fits absolutely perfect. So here's the microphone we have scanned, it holds by itself and look at that fit absolutely perfect yes the little angle is wanted because we are driving on the left hand side so my holder is on the right side and so it has a, a little angle towards me I wanted that so look at that I first thought a little bit thin on the on the top side uh, where is it? here on the top side but it is more than enough material here down so yeah I love it it's absolutely perfect it fits look at that perfect uh, on both sides absolutely perfect so I'm really happy with it hope you enjoyed it as I did it I, I do it 
and maybe I try a different filament. I thought about TPU, a strong TPU. So yeah, ah, that's the nice part of 3D printing. You can easily try things. It's printed in half an hour on the on the Bamboo Lab X1 carbon combo. So yeah. Perfect. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. I'm working on the next one and that one is really for everybody who has a 3D printer. I don't want to say too much, but you will like it and I'm sure you want to buy that. Hmm? Have I said too much? No. Okay, see you in the next one. All the best, DM4DS and or have a good time.